Hey guys, long time no see. I know, I'm a bad YouTuber. And because of that, I'm just updating you on what you're gonna be watching because this is going back to the past, the far past of January. And uh, I'm trying to catch up on content uh, that I've shot and had not a chance to edit and get out to you. And so what you're gonna be watching here today is a video that I shot back in January before I went on one of two trips. The first is a trip uh, that I took to help a friend bring back his car from California and we drove it back to New Jersey. That's a non-motorcycle trip in case you're wondering. And then the second of two trips is one that I went over to do video work for a nonprofit. I was there in Africa. Again, not a motorcycle trip, but some of the videos on here will be travel trips. I do hope to get you caught up. I hope that you enjoy these vlogs and this one that you're gonna watch today. And I hope to shoot a whole lot more motorcycle content moving forward. So I hope that you enjoy the video today. And if you don't, let me know in the comments because even your negative comments helps my channel grow. And that's what I'm all about anyway, using you to grow my channel. What's up guys? Welcome back to the Moto Scout channel. My name is Chris and we're gonna be doing some international travel here in a few weeks. And I'm getting geared up to go back to Africa. This won't be my first trip there. I've been there a few times, but I recently got the opportunity uh, to go over and do some video work for a nonprofit. And it was kind of a last minute thing, uh, but I'm thankful for just the opportunity to get out of winter here in New Jersey and get over where it's warm and a place that really inspires me and I always love going whenever I get to go. So I'm excited for that. So because of that, I've got to run some errands. It being kind of a last minute uh, trip, I've got to make some preparations for it, including, if you haven't done this already, the interestingly fun COVID test. Also, what I want to say is we just passed 100 subscribers, which I know I'm a cockroach in the Motovlog community crush you like the cockroaches you are having just uh, that few amount of subscribers but for me it's a big deal if you don't yet subscribe make an account take that step subscribe to my channel if you don't follow me on Instagram go ahead and follow me now at the Moto Scout and you can uh, maybe get some of the behind the scenes in the stories and some of the uh, videos and pictures that I'll post or reels that I'll post uh, from these trips as I'm doing them. So with that being said, let's get on the bike, take a ride, run these errands. It is good to be on the bike any day, even though it is cold today. It's probably about as cold as it was the day that I took a ride in the snow. Uh, we just haven't been getting a lot of snow lately and really haven't in the last couple years. Um, but anyway, I'm glad to be out riding the bike today, even if it is just to run some errands. Uh, like I said, I've got a couple trips coming up and I may not be able to be on a motorcycle for a little bit during those trips. I am riding across country, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, one of the things I think we're gonna stop and do is uh, go see the Bonneville Salt Flats. I know that it's cold right now, but I think it'll be cool at least just to even be able to visit there uh, as we go through. Also, Arches National Park in Utah is supposed to be awesome. I'm uh, so looking forward to stopping there on the way back. We're gonna try to do this trip in about four or five days. So we're not gonna be able to make a lot of stops as we have to cover a lot of miles. We're actually flying into Las Vegas because I got some really, really cheap tickets from here to Las Vegas. I'm gonna rent a car from Las Vegas, drive to California. We're gonna pick up my friend's car and then my son and my friend and I are gonna drive from California back to Vegas to drop off the rental car and then we're taking the trip from Vegas. We'll probably go to Utah first and then a cut somewhere across there. So hopefully we'll be able to capture some content. I'll be able to test out some of the video equipment that I have before I go on my trip to Africa in a couple weeks. And then uh, I'll take the long trip to Africa. Again, that's the reason why today I'm running these errands. I've got to get an eye exam and I need to get a COVID test. So we're gonna go first to get that eye exam. Uh, on the way, I just wanna say that this windscreen from Memphis Shades 
is such a help uh, in keeping the wind off of me. I know I mentioned it in the first vlog, but I can't say enough. I'm glad that I got the Road Warrior fairing for the wintertime uh, because it's just a game changer as far as getting the wind off of you. And that's really the main thing. When you're riding in cold weather, if you can make yourself as comfortable as possible, you really don't mind riding. The, the real drag to riding in cold weather is really the prep to riding because you can't just go jump on your bike. You have to warm up the bike and you need to also put all the gear that you need to have on to be warm. And so I'm warm and what I have on and the key is base layers. I think heated gear is overrated. I know a lot of people like heated gear. I wouldn't be unwilling to try it out. I've tried some different things but I really haven't felt that much of a difference in having heated gear. I think heated grips is a game changer and surely I have my heated seat on. I find that the seat heater is just kind of a comfort thing because really uh, your butt is the last thing to get cold probably on the bike. If you can keep your feet warm and your hands warm, those are game changers. And so having a good pair of gloves underneath my gloves that I have, these Odin gloves that I'm wearing, uh, I have a wool liner underneath, the merino wool glove liners. And so that's a big, uh, makes a big difference in keeping the uh, my hands warm. My boots are waterproof. I have merino wool uh, socks on underneath. Uh, and so my feet stay warm and my hands stay warm. And then your body works on the core, obviously, but it's good to have some good base layers. I'll link the base layers that I have. They're really just a cheap set from Amazon, but they are phenomenal. This base layer that I have, um, it's great material. It feels very comfortable to wear. And at the same time, underneath jeans and underneath the clothes that I have, I really have just a sweatshirt on top of uh, this base layer on my shirt. And then I've got the base layer long johns or leggings, whatever you want to call them, underneath um, my jeans and so that's really it plus the jacket if you can break the wind and you can uh, just keep that off of you you're really comfortable in riding and again it's the fairing does a lot to keep the wind off of me plus having a neck gaiter with a good helmet is a big thing you get a good seal on a full face helmet and you could be very comfortable riding in the cold weather i don't know if i would take hours and hours uh, riding this way in this this temperature I've done plenty of long rides in cold weather, so it's not like I haven't done that before. But anyway, base layers make all the difference. And so if you don't have a decent base layer, you're not going to ride in the cold. Of course, I realize that a lot of people that have motorcycles uh, don't really know what it's like to live in the northeast part of the United States uh, during the wintertime and have kind of those three months or so where you're having to do all this stuff. Again, if you can get through putting all the base layer on, putting everything on, and then you have to go outside to put your jacket on because you'll overheat inside. And then if you start to sweat, obviously all that sweat gets cold uh, as you're riding and it makes you even more cold. So you don't want to sweat and you want to have these base layers on. So go outside, then put the over top layers on so that you don't start to sweat. And even sometimes that's even difficult. And so those are kind of the challenges in cold weather riding. I exam done. Mission accomplished. Uh, really nothing's changed. Uh, I just had to pick up uh, some contacts. I don't know if you wear eyeglasses or contacts. I'm actually looking into getting LASIK here in the near future. I have an identical uh, prescription and with my uh, contact lenses, I actually have 2020 corrected vision, uh, but my vision is not great, obviously, without the contact lenses. And so I do need them. Uh, so I need to get some extra pairs, especially when I'm going internationally. I want to make sure that I have enough uh, to last me on the trip. And so all of that, I'm sure, is boring stuff. But I will say this, if you've gotten LASIK surgery uh, and you have had a good or bad experience, I would love to hear from you. So let me know in the comments about what you think about LASIK eye surgery, because I'm really seriously thinking about doing that before the summer here. All right. So we are on our way over to uh, a urgent care clinic to get a COVID test. 
Uh, COVID has been an interesting thing in our world uh, for everyone. It's interesting because everyone in the world is kind of going through the same thing. No matter who I talk to, I've been talking to some friends in different places, some in Europe, some in Australia, and of course, friends that I have in Africa that I'm going to be visiting soon. Um, And really, it's something that we have in common as we talk about the different ways that our governments handle this thing. And really, nobody has a good handle or a great handle on the situation. I think everyone's doing their best with the science that they have available to them or the best that they can to respond to it. But I think what we've all found out is there's nothing that's foolproof. No matter how much we try to protect ourselves, everything out there in this world is trying to kill us. And I think we've all realized that. And it doesn't take much uh, for that to happen. I have people talk to me about that all the time when it comes to riding motorcycles. How can you ride a motorcycle? Isn't it risky? Uh, Isn't that uh, something that you could die doing? And here's the answer to that. I mean, really, you're going to die one way or another. I don't mean to sound morbid, but all of us are going to have to face that. I would rather die doing something that I enjoy. I don't want to be, again, morbid or or, uh, negative in any way, but I would rather get out and do something that I enjoy and have to, you know, go through some kind of difficulty because of that than die sitting in a chair doing nothing. Because so many people think that by barricading in and doing nothing, you're making your life longer or being safer. And in some ways, I guess, if you do nothing, you experience nothing and you don't face those dangers, but really your body is going to face all kinds of uh, challenges as you get older and a sickness comes in. And I know people that have not even gone outside uh, because of the whole pandemic thing, and many of them have had way more health problems than I've had. I did have COVID, and thankfully, I went through that period of time, about two weeks, a lot of fatigue and problems breathing and things like that. But uh, for the most part, obviously came through and uh, was okay. And I know that a lot of people and people close to me have suffered and gone through difficulty. I've had a rough year. My dad died uh, this this past year, just a few months ago, and not of COVID, but uh, he had some other complications. And that was a difficult time. Still trying to process that. Uh, and uh, I know if you've lost a loved one or people that are close to you, either through the pandemic or through just life, Uh, you know that that's a hard thing to be able to cope with and we all have to cope with it in our own ways and so grieving is a an important part of mental health and so i hope that if you have experienced loss at least recently that you will take the time that you need to grieve in the way that uh, you need to and talk to people about it because it is helpful to be able to do that and then you know, don't be afraid. Live your life. Get out and do what you enjoy. It's healthier for you to do that, even if there are risks to take. All of us are managing risk on some level. And I didn't really want to really lecture anyone today while I rode my motorcycle, but I thought I would just throw that in there uh, because that's the thoughts that I'm having inside the helmet today that you're getting to listen to. And so if you don't like anything I said, fast forward or just, you know, share your comments uh, with me. Uh, I love this kind of a dialogue and uh, different people's perspectives and point of views, especially when it comes to life and things that scare people or risks that we have to take. Got to grab some gas, so let me do that real quick, and then we'll run across the street and get this COVID test. All right, full of gas and on our way. And uh, let's go ahead and get that COVID test. I got to run inside the clinic. I'm not sure. Again, I I don't think they're probably going to let me film getting the COVID test, but uh, that wouldn't be that enjoyable to watch someone shove a Q-tip on my nose. So anyway, uh, we're going to get that test and then uh, we'll get back on the bike and get back to the office.
COVID test done, just like most of these, any medical procedure that you might have, they're usually just very uncomfortable. Thankfully, I was able to get in and out of this place. It was relatively quiet there and uh, just walked in and got my test. The nurse that did it was awesome. And so I'm glad uh, that she knew what she was doing and made it as comfortable as you possibly could in doing uh, one of those tests. I've had so many of them uh, because I needed to get them for different things, travel or work, uh, that it doesn't really phase me anymore having to do it. Now that we're on our way back to the office, we've ran the errands that I need to run today. Uh, when we get back, uh, I'm gonna run through, like I said, some things that I got for Christmas uh, from just motorcycle kind of content things that I got for Christmas that I wanna share with you. And so uh, I hope you had a great Christmas. I hope that you had a good New Year's. I know we're in January and it seems like that is moving so quickly. And so uh, this month is gonna be over before we know it. And honestly, the winter time here, if you can fill it with doing other things, um, it's good a good time to kind of uh, do some indoor projects. I'm doing as much as that as I can, uh, but I'm also trying to accomplish my goal of at least riding my motorcycle in the winter time at least one day per week, and mission has been accomplished. I usually ride more than that, and so I've gotten a lot of riding in uh, that I haven't filmed even on other days and had some really cool trips even more recently. And I just don't film everything uh, that I do on the motorcycle. But anyway, today, uh, um, as we get back, we're gonna look at some uh, stuff that I got and I hope that you'll enjoy it. Riding a motorcycle, doing kind of mundane errands, uh, makes everything far more exciting and adventurous. So whenever I have like a bunch of boring errands to do, it's always cool to have to get suited up, grab the helmet, the gloves, the jacket, get on the bike and just get out there because it takes a kind of just something that you would ordinarily do riding in your car somewhere and you wouldn't really pay attention to your surroundings and all those kind of things as much. When you get on a motorcycle, it just turns everything into adventure. So I really love if I've got a bunch of boring things to do to break up my day between work and whatever my errands are, just to jump on the motorcycle, especially when it's like 40 degrees out. I wanna talk about right at the top because I'm gonna make some coffee, Megan Stark and Great Lakes Supply Company because I got some awesome coffee from them. I'm a bit of a coffee snob, I don't know if you are or not, but I'm gonna take this awesome blend that she put together and do some pour over. So let's make some coffee. In addition to the coffee that we just made from Great Lakes Supply, separately, I ordered a mug because I thought this mug was so cool. So check it out. It says, watch for cycles. It's a really cool mug and tin mug. And I really like this, this style of mug. So thanks, Megan, for making some cool products and great coffee. Another awesome motor vlogger is As the Magpie Flies. I picked up right at the beginning of the year, Christmas time, ordered one of her calendars. And so get out and do the thing and I really like uh, this calendar. It has some really cool uh, artwork in it. If you can't see it, I won't show you all of them to ruin it, but check out her uh, Etsy site and you can pick up some awesome artwork because Amanda is an amazing artist. She does a lot of motorcycle art and it's really cool. And so I'm excited to be able to hang this up on the wall. And Amanda, thanks so much for sending some stickers because everybody likes those. Here's one of the stickers, there it goes. Here's the magnet, get out and do the thing. So this is uh, really cool as well. Next, I'm really excited to show you uh, a giveaway that I won at Christmas time. Uh, have you ever done those giveaways on Instagram and then forgotten? I know we have to tag people uh, in the comments. You tagged me before, I've tagged you before, probably if you're watching this, and uh, you don't think you're really gonna win, uh, but this is cool. Around Christmas time, uh, Rumble On did a giveaway uh, for a Cardo Pack Talk Bold, 
And I was surprised when I got the message that I had won. Uh, and so what an awesome uh, gift at Christmas time to be able to win the giveaway uh, from Rumble On. And so thanks, uh, guys at Rumble On, for putting on the giveaway. And thanks for picking me. I like the Cardo Pack Talk Bold uh, because it's what I already use. I have one on my helmet and the guys I, I ride with often also use that same communication system. And so I've used it already, already have a helmet wired up. So it was cool to get an extra one. Uh, I know it's in this box. I haven't opened the box yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and open it now and uh, let's check it out. Let's see what we got inside the box because as you can see, it is a really cool, um, wrapped box they did a good job riders only so let's go ahead and we'll open up the box and maybe we'll do it the quick way so here's what is inside oh of course we've got the cardo pack tuck bold and it is the jbl uh, version so the speakers on this are really good the jbl speakers and uh, this is the latest um from cardo and so awesome glad to have this this pack and so it's cool to get that. We also have some, what is this? We have some, these are not AirPods, but I guess they are fake AirPods. They are something that looks like AirPods. This kind of played with my emotions a little bit. I thought, wow, they actually sent me a pair of Apple AirPods. Uh, so you guys tricked me. Uh, it looks like these are just kind of like a little swag. Yeah, they are. So you can see inside here, there it is. They've got their logo on this. A set of fake AirPods. So thanks guys. Um, not sure if I'll use these or not, but it's cool to get some extra swag, right? I uh, got some stuff from Sturgis. Uh, looks like Sturgis oh, says City of Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. And so this is got Rumble on, little, little uh, koozie here and then pen and some other stuff. So that's awesome. So thanks a lot guys from Rumble On. Uh, I did get some gloves um, for Christmas and uh, these were gloves that I had been eyeing up and looking at. Uh, and I know that a lot of people are, Odin's have been all the rage. And so I got a set of Odin gloves and these are the gloves from Odin that I got. They do have the magnet here that uh, keeps them connected to each other if you want, or the awesome thing is if you saw in this video, they stick to the tank, and so that's pretty cool uh, to be able to have these gloves, and they're just getting broke in. I just started wearing them uh, today, and so they're not yet broken yet. The really cool thing about the gloves is they do have here on the thumb and on the index finger a place for you to flip back and expose your fingers and use them uh, if you need to kind of access your phone or something real quick without having to take off your gloves. These, I don't know exactly, are the greatest for winter riding because I got the perforated ones. Uh, I'm sure the full leather non-perforated gloves would be far better uh, in the winter time, but nonetheless, these are a quality pair of gloves and I'm really excited to break them in. The other thing that I recently got that you've seen already in the video is this uh, Dango gripper mount. And so this gripper mount is uh, really cool. I love this product. Um, I was looking for something that would be a little bit different than uh, what I've seen a lot of people use as far as the permanent mounts uh, for the action cameras. I use the DJI Osmo action. And so I didn't want to have a permanent mount or permanent wired up uh, setup on any of my helmets. And so I picked up this gripper mount because you can, as you can see, just clip it on on any helmet and it slides up right underneath. And then of course you have the GoPro or for me, Osmo Action mount, which is the same. It's the same for most of those action cams. And then you can wire up. I usually put my microphone wires up under here and just kind of keep it all together. So my microphone setup is all there and I just kind of just put it right on to my helmet. So this is an awesome product. It's about $50 or so, but I think it's worth it for not having to have multiple mounts on multiple helmets and just being able to kind of move it wherever you want. In addition, it has a very strong grip to it, so you can put it anywhere on your bike, and so that's really cool, just kind of be able to mount it wherever you need to mount it, and so that works out really good. So I love this Dango gripper mount. The next thing I wanted to show you, another piece of apparel, is I did pick up, I think a lot of people have heard of, I'm sure, Go Fast, Don't Die. Awesome company, great apparel, uh, amongst other things. And I got 
uh, this hat from them it says chase your fears I like uh, the style of the hat I got this as a gift um, from one of my daughters and so this is was an awesome gift for me uh, and who doesn't need a good hat when you get off the bike and have that helmet hair that you need to cover up I am NOT a brand ambassador for anyone but I did think it would be cool just to let you know some of the things that I like maybe there's some of you that are out there that have seen some of the stuff on my bike as I did a walk around in vlog one the last but not least kind of item that I wanted to feature is something I've talked about probably a few times and post about a lot on Instagram but I really love their products uh, this is an India based uh, company and they make great handmade leather products uh, as you can see this is just a quality made bag I have the full paneer and I have the tank pouch uh, this is just something that you can hang on the side and carry where you uh, wherever you go uh, inside they have a waterproof cover for it which is really cool it's got a lot of room uh, this is their outlaw saddlebag in the tobacco finish I love their tobacco finish that's what I have all the products in if I flip it around on the back you can see again it says handmade it's got their little wrench logo uh, there they sent me also uh, really cool keychains and some other things they have these uh, uh, brass straps uh, that come with it uh, that you can mount uh, kind of these eye hooks uh, they could go on the side of the bike and you can clip these right onto the side and so it makes it for easy on and off this is not a permanent bag uh, for the bike but it's something you just kind of carry on and off with you it's got a great little pouch for like a laptop or anything else that you want to carry so this was some cool stuff that i got at christmas time if you do order from trip machine company um they do take a little bit longer sometimes to get their products out because it is coming internationally so just be patient and again uh, you won't be disappointed with the quality of the work or the customer service because they've always been great in uh, getting back to me if I had any questions or I had one bag uh, that when I was taking a long ride actually came off the bike because one of the uh, one of the brass buckles came off and I didn't see it got twisted uh, and they sent me a brand new uh, paneer and let me keep the other one, which really wasn't damaged, even though it fell onto the road while I was going about 50 miles an hour. So everything in, including my laptop that was in the bag, was completely fine. Um, but they sent me a brand new bag. And so as you can see behind me, I have two uh, paneers that are hanging up on the helmet hangers, which are also from Trip Machine Company. And I have two of them because they sent me a free one. So they're awesome. I just want to give a shout out uh, to Trip Machine Company. Guys, thanks for watching today. If you've watched all the way here to the end, you're awesome. And thanks for going on the ride with me today. As I said, stay tuned. Got a trip to Africa coming up. Also, uh, before that trip, I've got just beginning this Monday, uh, I've got a, a cross country trip. So follow me on Instagram for some of the behind the scenes stuff. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching and for being part of my journey here on YouTube. Uh, I hope that you guys are doing well and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, friends.